Hello and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. I am Lord Forrent here playing as what remains of the Netherlands, which is pretty much Suriname, um, not even all of Suriname. So we are currently an exiled government. Uh, the Germans proved to be unbelievably broken uh, in terms of their combat strength. 700 or 800 attack damage against my defenses. Um, bit ridiculous. Uh, I think the game is slightly broken right now. but um, So we're trying out some of the exiled government mechanics, and maybe we will manage to... Well, once the U.S. enters the war, things should hopefully turn in the Allies' favor, although I don't know if there'll be any Allies left at that point, considering how incompetent the AI is actually defending Africa. Um, it's pretty pathetic. They did manage to kick the Germans out of... The Mali region, and obviously they can't march north into Vichy, France, but they've absolutely failed to defend Egypt, and they have virtually, I don't know why all their troops are missing from this region, but they are. So things are not going too well on that front. De Gaulle has taken over France and trying to rebuild it. Um, everybody else is living in the UK. We should, hopefully, within a couple um, within a couple months, we should hopefully be able to put Queen Wilhelma in charge and try and push out some of the other stuff. On the other hand, I am actually going to try relocating our fleet to the Dutch East Indies. Um, oh, they are actually repairing. So we are actually able to fight to some degree. And uh, we should actually be getting um, uh, some access to dockyards here, uh, off-map stuff. And hopefully we can start getting some infantry equipment. be nice to get this Radio Orange going just to max out our war support. Although we're doing pretty fine on that front. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, we are we have pretty good le legitimacy as an allied nation um, in the British's eyes. The Germans are just so ridiculously good. I mean, it is truly ridiculous how overpowered the Germans are being right now. The U.S. is slowly, slowly starting to become interested in the war in Europe. Um, I don't know what the actual focus that draws the U.S. into the war. Maybe it's Japan attacking them. I don't know. Um, speaking of Japan, what are they up to? Oh, we're never going to actually figure that out. Huh. I don't remember exactly what day the U.S. enters the war, but we still got some time. The U.S. enters the war on December 7th, 1941 with Pearl Harbor. So roughly about a year to go until the U.S. will join. Ah, so every time I boost the dockyard axis, it gets more expensive. Trotsky survived an assassination attempt. Well done, Trotsky, I guess. Still haven't figured out how to put him in charge of uh, Mexico, but I've tried. They're definitely going to fall. Well, actually, I don't know if they're going to fall to communism. They're kind of balanced between communism and democracy. Interesting. Everybody is struggling to attack the Germans. Honestly, I'd almost been better off evacuating my army from uh, the Netherlands and just running to the UK. But I suspect it still lost it when uh, I surrendered. The British are doing something in North Africa, but I don't know what the Germans are up to.
I'm currently building stuff in the Dutch East Indies to try and get them under control as much as possible. Seriously, what is the problem with my units? No guns, not enough manpower to reinforce. Eh. The standard problems. Well, we're going to request aid for the England Varders. Which, if you guys are curious about that, the over 100 miles of the North Sea separating England from the Netherlands is no deterrent to Dutchmen seeking to escape the occupation and fight alongside their countrymen for the liberation of their homeland. In rickety small rowboats or kayaks, these England varders, or English sailors, brave the open water in conditions so difficult that not even one in, fewer than one in ten survive the voyage. Merely attempting this puts them among the bravest of the brave and in our duty to ask the British to do whatever they can to increase the likelihood of their success. So we should be getting a fair amount of manpower per day actually now. British sent me a division located in Canada for some reason. Okay. Thank you. It'll allow me to actually do something. We have a legitimacy of 90, by the way, so we're pretty uh, legitimate. Yes, yes, I know. Trying to figure out how to get that guy, which is actually a fully deployed and supplied division, down to Venezuela of all places. I love how like one or two German divisions is just completely stopping our ability to attack. Oh, actually we might win this fight unless the Germans show up. Despite not being involved in the war, the uh, Spanish are uh, sending quite a few divisions. How many divisions is Spain sending to this war? A lot of people have volunteers from them. Okay. Let's see, what can we do now? Um, we can't do anything more, really. We can't request this because we don't have allied technological. We can't do that because we can't do Singapore. We can't put her in charge yet. Um, let's try and get uh, Phillips and then an R&D facility going. And then we're going to be out of focus, honestly. Won't be able to do anything. Although I'd love it if I could actually retake Suriname here. Which, by the way, apparently is now a releasable nation. Republic of Suriname. We are now losing this fight. Great. Come on. There we go. Hey, we actually might actually retake a province here. There we go. We now actually have control of a naval base province. That one's owned by the British, okay. Is my unit that I had up in Vancouver actually going to move? Nope. Typical. Okay, I can sail him there. It's just going to take forever. More divisions we get on the field, though. Better off we are. We contributed 6% to the war, so... Casualties, though. The British are just getting clobbered by the Germans. We also don't know what the Germans are up to anymore.
Okay. At least we're getting some manpower onto the field. Not much, but... We will contribute to the Allied war effort, no matter what it takes. Even if we also prove to be horrendously awful at doing so. <laughs> we will try. There we go. Okay, let's give you guys orders. First off, occupy that border. Second off, occupy Venezuela. Probably going to be one of the dumbest plans I've ever come up with, but hey, we might as well try and uh, push forward. That's us, right? Yeah. Of course it is. Attack cautiously. Because we can't rebuild our troops if we lose any, really. Just like we're having trouble actually rebuilding like convoys and stuff. Speaking of convoys, we have 80 in surplus, so I really don't need to build convoys, do I? Um, how do I, I don't really want to cancel the production line, but I guess I got a coastal defense ships. We'll order building of those. Then if we have any more, we'll build a convoy. <sighs> no luck on offense anywhere. Well, we at least control one province. And we do get how much aluminum? A lot of aluminum, apparently. I really do want to retake this oil production province, though. About a year to go until the U.S. will join the war. In the meantime, Italy is conquering Africa. Oh, and about to attack Greece. There we go. Sorry, Greece. I have a feeling you're going to get annihilated. I have a fair amount of divisions, but I don't think it'll make a difference. Really shouldn't bother attacking. You should defend. Oh, well. 22 divisions from Venezuela? Wow. I don't know if we're going to be able to survive that attack. Maybe. William Slim is holding out, that's for sure. Oh, the guy's sick, that helps. How many troops does Venezuela even have? 28 to 38 divisions. Interesting. British have over a million... Uh, sorry, the Germans have a million man reserve right now. Yugoslavia isn't actually part of anybody? Really? Huh. Seems weird. I thought Yugoslavia joined uh, the Allies and got annihilated. But oh, Here come the Germans. And there go the Greeks. Germans have arrived. The Greeks are doomed. What's the British Raj up to? Not really much. I don't even know. Is it even possible to get rid of the agrarian society in India? I don't think it is. Seems a little bit weird. There's no way to get rid of that. Well, it doesn't seem to be. It doesn't actually seem to be a way to get rid of that. You can get rid of risk of famine, but that's about it. 
Why do you keep giving me a unit standing in a non-naval base province? Actually, you know what? Could I launch a naval invasion of Madagascar? I'm curious. Because Madagascar is owned by Vichy France, so... We need more ray na okay, we lack intel. Okay, what can I do about that? Oops, no, 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 no. Where's my navy? Give me my navy. There's the navy, okay. Patrol. There, 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 and there? be funny if I could invade there. West. East. Wait a second. Cover the above areas in radar would be my solution? I've never really understood these naval invasion stuff, because it doesn't make a lot of sense, particularly. Huh. Let's try moving to there, actually. Come on. There we go. Control there, there. Trying to figure out how in the world I set up a naval invasion. Oh yeah, we've got another focus to do. R&D facilities, there we go. More decryption. Um, I guess we'll toss that in there as well. Huh. I don't even know what radar is, so I can't really do anything there either. Plus, we're going to run out of oil in a day. I guess I should relocate my fleet up here, out of this area, down to here. We're gonna run out of oil, but at least it's progress. Maybe we'll at someday attempt a naval invasion. <laughs> Dutch East Indies have actually killed stuff. Not much, but. We're at least still fighting on. Venezuela is not particularly good at offense. They're out of manpower, so that helps. Boy, we consume a ton of fuel a day. Oh, 
maybe that'll help a little bit. Nope, oh, the UK is calling back their expeditionary forces. Okay. Thanks, I guess. They're going to steal, what, two of my divisions? One of my divisions. One year till the U.S. joins the war. Lend Lease Act is being passed. No idea what Hitler's up to. No idea what Yugoslavia is going to have to deal with. There we go. Greece fell almost immediately. It'd be kind of cool if I could see what the other exiled nations are. But I guess I can't. Hey, we are up to 45 popularity for non-align, though, so we can swap to the only man in the Dutch government. Okay. Okay. I have a hundred percent legitimacy, but that doesn't really do much for me. I think my ships are still moving to the to India. Not entirely sure how I command these tr the navies properly, though. That's the problem. Hold for now. Still building stuff in Sumatra. Keeping them vaguely under control. Come on, I'm not even launching offense right now. Yeah, here's a normal nation. Venezuela. 30-something attack. Yeah. Okay, let's get some more. I don't know. Manpower? Or more civilian factories. We're actually now producing planes, which is amazing. I think what we're really missing is honestly just troops. Speed up my uh, research into that stuff. It's going to take me a whole year, but might as well get the newest gun on the market, right? Let's see you uh, still. Well, at least the U.S. is building a military, so there's progress. Germany's somewhere around 300 divisions. UK 100. What's France got? 27. And then there's poor little Netherlands with nine. Actually, you know what? Can we build a fort here? We can. Okay, let's build a fort there. We can also then build lots of infrastructure. Might as well just mess with Venezuela. Fortify Suriname of all places. You will not take Suriname. Um... 
Somehow we're still holding on. Hey, R&D stuff. Nice. Let's put Wilhima in charge. Only man in the Dutch government. And figure out what a uh, truck is. Because apparently we haven't figured out what motorized infantry is. Oops. Where are you guys? You're just all moving towards naval bases. Okay. It's just taking them forever to move there. Anyhow, uh, I think we'll stop here. Not, not much is going on. we still got a while till the U.S. enters the war. Um, the U.K. is slowly rebuilding themselves. France is, for some reason, is researching planes. Plus, the U.K. is being obliterated in Africa. Kind of almost tempted to see if I can send my unit over there. Yeah, let's try doing that. Let's see, can I send you to help fight in Etria? So we might move some of our troops to fighting in Etria, hopefully help the UK there. US will be here soon. To be honest, we're not doing too bad. At least we have Surnam. So, thank you guys all for watching. Bye for now.